He said, I am HIV positive. Y'all, my life flashed before my eyes. All I gotta do is put my mind, my mind. Gang, it's your boy Tyler LaDuff and I'm back with another video. So this video is just going to be a little bit more on a serious topic. Um, for 2020, I want to give advice to people and, you know, just give more advice than last year because there's so many people that ask me questions about, you know, how to carry on with the with the same sex relationship and blah, 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 blah. So I am going to be sharing a story with y'all that I have not shared on this channel before, nor have I really told many people just because it's kind of like embarrassing to me and it's kind of just like like ugh, like Thailand are you dumb like why would you do stuff like that but I feel as though from my mistakes I am able to help others not make the same mistakes so I'm going to be sharing the story with you guys I highly advise you guys to watch this until the end also share this video like this video and subscribe if you're new as well so let's get into the story this happened about two and a half years ago y'all so two and a half years ago i was going on a rampage i was like i'm sorry russ I scared my dog i was going on a rampage so i really wanted to explore myself and explore me so i was sleeping around a lot doing a lot of bad things that i should not have been doing i moved out and got my first apartment and just went kind of crazy and it all had to deal with me having my first heartbreak so i didn't really know how to deal with that in a way so i used to have like you know the apps like jacked and grinder and like what was it like so like all these other weird apps just to find somebody but you know deep down inside i was just like oh my gosh i want to like find a boyfriend i want to find somebody to settle down with but instead most people on those apps just wanted to come just for the night so you know what i'm saying so i was down for that too but i was always scared like my heart was racing because i was always scared of catching something and just Ugh, it's just, it's just a weird world out there. You, I'm pretty sure you guys who have not ever explored doing it with another guy or vice versa are just scared of all the things that you can catch out there. It's just scary. It's just like, why even do those things? You know, why don't we just all just die as the human race? Why don't we just go extinct? If there's so many consequences exploring yourself. Well, this guy messaged me on this app and you know we were talking for a little bit but he was like talking real dirty and you know i thought it was cute you know i like this hair like you got a nice body and stuff so i was like you know what you can come on over so normally before people come over i um drink alcohol just so to help with my anxiety and like um talk better and not feel so tense once these people come over and stuff like that so i invited this guy over and give him my address one night and he came over and he just had this really bad attitude. He had a very bad attitude, most definitely different than on tech. But you know me, I'm like, oh, I like bad attitude because you ain't seen a bad attitude yet. You ain't handled me. But you know, he was always trying to like one up and be like da da da. And I just looked at him and I'm just like, oh, okay. And then be like, it's just because you're young and da da da. Girl, I was like 20 or was I 19 at the time? 19 or 20. You were only 23. Girl, you have so much to like learn as well like it's not just because i'm young like if anything i'm acting more mature than you because your attitude was just oh but for some reason bad attitudes turned me on and i was just like oh you know what? i like that i like the way you're doing it right Ugh. just reflecting back in this story just brings back anxiety in me so we go to my room and you know i like hickeys so he was like sucking on my neck and stuff and like um we were just like making out and you know things escalated from there got like there's little cows in my backyard right now let's go outside look at that y'all see that wait can y'all see there's cows i love it so after we get inside of my room um we are i'm sorry it's just it, it just hurts my head so much sharing this but yeah so we were making out and stuff and you know things escalated from there things got taken off and you know he had i guess he already had the intention of what he wanted to do anyways so he pulled out a wrap and you know put it on and y'all who hit thing was like just i like it whenever people are like verbal in bed because i'm just like oh it just turns me on i'm just like come on like show me more what else do you want to say some nasty things to me but he was like just a strict top you know like nothing was going down there nothing at all so i was like okay so this is great awesome so you know we're doing it and then during that session that we were having 
I told him to take the wrap off. He said, no, he's not gonna take it off. Now, one of the reasons why I said take it off is because like, um, latex kind of irritates me down there. I think I have like an allergy to latex. Latex uh, makes me like break out in like little like hives and like gets really itchy. So I always find it better to do it without a wrap. So that's why, you know, I asked. And yes, at the time I was pr practicing unsafe encounters. So I was like, ugh. This is just, I definitely learned my lesson after this. But, you know, we did the deed, and then he was like, oh my gosh, this is so amazing. And then he fell asleep. Now look, y'all, if they fall asleep after y'all are done, do another little session, that's how you know you did it right. So, you know, I did everything right, you know what I'm saying? So, he woke up, and then, um, I think he had to go to work, and I don't think I had to go to work. I think this was on the weekend or something. So, he went to work, and then asked if he can come back over later on the day, that day. And I said, okay, yeah, you can come over. You can come back over um, later on. So hours went by and then he came back and he was just in that funk again talking and he's just like, I need to talk to you. And I was like, okay, what do you need to talk about? And you know, he's just like, you're young and you just still have so much to learn and blah, blah, blah. And you need to really understand that the people that you meet are not always gonna have the best intentions for you. And they're not always going to look after you and just you just meet people so in my head i'm thinking worst case scenario i'm like my heart is racing and i'm just like please don't tell me what is about to come out of your mouth is what is about to come out of your mouth and then what came out of his mouth was actually what came out of his mouth he said i am hiv positive y'all my life flashed before my eyes horrible feeling of just anxiety and just feeling like your world is closing in and all the walls is just my head is starting to hurt i'm sorry i just that was one of the worst that, like that next eight i just i never wanted to have to experience hearing those things come out of somebody's mouth before especially after we already did what we did so i looked at him and i said why would you do that to me why would you why would you even do that and he said, so I already know what you're thinking. Be calm and be rational. I am HIV undetectable, which means that he's taking his meds so that even like it slims down the chances of giving the other person HIV unless, you know, it also would help if I'm on prep as well. And I'm just thinking like, when you have this, I think that it's very important to tell somebody even if you're undetectable even if you're taking meds even if you're on prep it is just so good to tell somebody what you have before you do something like this you can't have the conversation with me after the fact like you literally almost what if i just had a heart attack based off of what you said you know what i'm saying like so i'm over here like what is undetectable basically what i just told y'all and you know he said when you asked me to take off take it off take off the wrap I really could in that moment have and put you in further risk of doing that. And you know, I'm just sitting here thinking like, wow, Thailand, you're so stupid. You really don't know what people out there be having. You really don't. Like, practicing what you've been practicing is absolutely bad. And you know, I always knew it was bad, but this was a wake up call. And you know, even though I question God a lot, I most definitely think that Whatever the higher power is, has most definitely kept me out of harm's way and kept me out of big trouble. And also has sent lessons to me so that I can learn and I can grow. This was one of the biggest lessons for me to learn and grow because y'all, I could have contracted that. And I'm just like, I think about it to this day and I'm just like, I'm so thankful. Even though that guy, like I can be so mad at him and be like, why didn't you talk to me about it first? At the end of the day, it was me practicing unsafe measures. Um, on top of that, engaging in stuff and just being all over the place and asking to take it off and doing it. Y'all, bottom line is, stay protected at all costs, all times. Always be protected. Um, and don't just go out of a whim and just serve me a hoe. I mean, like, you, you can if you want to, but I'm just like, it, you just don't know what the next person has. And... I always said that I was always being safe and da da da, but honestly I wasn't. After that day I realized I really was not being as safe as what I claimed I was. He actually texted me back like a year later talking about, I know you missed this, like girl, I, uh, you're, you're blocked now. And like, 
you are completely blocked to stop. Like, I don't miss that at all. You definitely have were sitting my life to teach me a lesson. Thank you for the fun night. That is it, girl. I don't need you no more. More of the story, be safe. And I'm glad that I can finally get this off my chest and share it with y'all and be more open to share more about my life. And I have plenty more stories where that come from. <laughs> plenty more stories. So if you guys want to hear more stories, please comment in the comment section down below that you guys want more of this. Hit that subscribe button. Please follow me on Instagram as well. And uh, keep up with my stories. And if you guys have stories, I really want to hear y'all's stories as well. Um, hit that subscribe button if you're new. And I will see y'all in the next video, Duffy Gang.